There we go. Welcome, sketchbook warriors and sketchbook heroes. Here we are, not giving up, fighting the battles. We've got some excellent journey tonight. We've got a lot of um, drawings. We're going to be doing some uh, figure drawing. We're going to be doing, oh, let's just share my screen and uh, get jumping into this because we've been, <laughs> whoo, we've been having quite a time here. So let's go to uh, our meetup. And uh, here we go. Ooh, not going. Oh, here we go. Uh, not that. I, oh, I clicked on the wrong. These are the people who are supposed to be here tonight. Oh, the questions. There we go. There we go. Let's jump to our pictures. There we go. Ooh, we got 34 pictures. Let's start off with number one. That's not number one. I reordered these. Let's see. Where's number one? That's the last one. That's 34. We need to go forward. There we go. There's number one. All right. We're going to start off with this one. This one's actually pretty fun. Uh, it's, it's abstract. Um, and uh, there's just a bunch of bugs. We're going to start off with this. It's a really good warm up. I'm going to show you how to break this apart. If, you're, if it's your first time here tonight, um, that's a really good start off. And then it gets really quickly. Uh, actually, that one's not too bad. Um, hoping to get through all these in the first hour. So this is what's going to happen in the first hour. I'll explain this drawing. I don't know. It's, uh, it's, this is actually a really interesting exercise. I've had my students do this one. This one does take some time, but I'll just explain it. I'll sketch that one out pretty quickly, and that one, and that one, and then that'll take us through the first hour. We should be done with, uh, we should be about here in the second hour. So if you want to come back, you can come back. We're going to talk and do these figure drawings, talking about these figures, um, really nice cartoons. I kind of rearranged them in order uh, to tell a narrative. And then we've got some more figure drawings. So we got, this is what's on tap for tonight. We got some of these. I won't be doing all of them. I'll just uh, be explaining them and talking about them and, and giving you some highlights. We got this char these characters. A lot of really good uh, drawings here tonight. A lot of stuff, figure drawings. And we had some requests for figure drawings. And we usually do our figure drawings on Tuesdays. We've been doing, I think this Tuesday is going to be our last day with figure drawings. Then we're going to jump, uh, we're going to have a, a week off. I'll be in, uh, I'll be, uh, I'll be a uh, Washington. And then uh, when I, we get back, we're going to be doing caricatures. So we'll be doing caricatures and, and, um, and cartoons and stuff on Tuesdays, actually. But uh, this is a good, actually, uh, preview of what we'll be, stuff that we'll be doing. And people are asking for faces. A lot of stuff on faces that were uploaded. I did not upload these. This is uploaded by you. So if you upload stuff, I try to find stuff that uh, we have our uploaders. But if it's somebody that's never uploaded thing uh, or usually don't uh, do, <laughs> if you usually don't upload, uh, I'll, I'll uh, we'll definitely do your drawing. A lot of hands, a lot of good practice stuff. And then this one, we're going to end the night on this one. Uh, so somewhere around 8.30, I'm hoping to have this by 8.30, and we'll get to this face, and uh, we'll draw this face by 8.30. All right, let's start breaking it down. Woo. All right, so I'm going to get this drawing here. Let's get this picture. There we go. This is where I need my mouse. You don't have any mice with wires. That's all good. We're going to have to uh, figure this one out. Oh. <laughs> the smaller I get, the bigger it gets. All right. So, all right. We're just going to go ahead and draw this from, um, from here. Oh, somebody could, um, you know, oh, this, if you can go into um, and put this in the chat, that would really help. I'm, Ellen, if you can do that, uh, right click this and, and put it in the chat. I'm going to need somebody's help with this tonight. Somebody's help with this tonight because it's just not, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not on my computer, I'm not on my laptop, on this laptop. So if you can um, go into that and put it into the chat, that would be, I'd be much appreciated. Wow, we got almost, uh, woo, I thought we had 50 people. We've got uh, 50, 16 people. That's awesome. All right, cool. Let's just jump well, into this. Yeah. I, I don't know how to right click and put things in chats. No? Oh, okay. Um, well, yeah. Mine's, okay. mine's actually programmed to not right click. Oh, no? And, okay. And you can just, um, I don't know, um, I don't know, screenshot it and then you can copy it. Yeah, screenshot it. Well, you okay, can I'll copy it. I'll do that. Yeah, you can I'll copy it, it to the, uh, That's to the chat. That's I, I'll try and do that. I've got it. I've got it. I'll do that. Okay. There we go. That's it. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Enough, enough. All right, so I'm not going to. Uh, oh, somebody else did it. Oh, cool. I have whoever, Sophia. All right, cool. So uh, let's see if I can zoom in there. Right, now I can zoom in. Right, so now so we, we know have... Sophia's, but Sophia's the tech expert. So 
Awesome. Now we know that. All right. <laughs> See, teamwork, teamwork, teamwork makes the dream work. All right, we also talked about these bustles and stuff. This is really good. All right, welcome. Whew. Welcome to Sketchbook Heroes and Sketchbook Warriors. Let's, let's get this going. All right, so what's cool about these is um, you got to see the, the, the proportions. I'm going to start with the uh, just, uh, just start drawing. It, they really don't, um, they're, if you get them, you know, <laughs> let's just start drawing. All right, I'm going to just start drawing with the head. I usually see the big shapes, but uh, we're going to go with this one. Now, the head is uh, twice as wide as it is. It's like two squares put together. That's the head. And then we're gonna, that's that's the head, two squares. This is ratios, right? This is ratios. So we have two squares put together for the head, right? Uh, one, this bug. This bug is the one of the bigger bugs that's up on top. It's like the third bug, uh, if you're looking at that. And actually inside that, there's two eyes uh, in that bug. Uh, and then from here, we can see the uh, how many heads tall the, uh, the tail is. So that's one. And uh, let me see if I go real quick, even one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably seven or eight, eight, I'll say eight. So here's one, one head, two heads, three heads, four, five, six, and seven, 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 and eight, okay, it's about eight, eight heads, we'll do eight, all right? Now, this is where the tail ends. Uh, we can just bring this whole body. Now we got the whole body and it goes to there. The, the body is eight heads tall, just like a, our superhero, <laughs> our superhero proportions. Our superhero proportions are right here as well uh, that we've studied. So you've got one head and then you can see the proportions of a person that's using the size of uh, one head. That's the same thing for this uh, moth, I believe. I believe it's a moth or a butterfly. There's the eight heads. And that gets our proportions, right? We're using one thing and we're using it, comparing it to other, other things. So everybody should be the same. Now it's just the wings. The wings come out uh, at an angle. Notice the angle of these wings coming out like that. And that gives you two good angles and doesn't go all the way out to the tail. So it comes out just a little bit to here. This side is rounded and it goes to there. I can see where this kind of uh, ends down here. And one wing sticks out more than the other, but um, it doesn't matter. I'm just, just getting them in there for now. And there's our first bug, our first bug. And you can see here, and it's a triangle, but I'm gonna round that corner. You can see it's just like rounding that corner, rounding the corner. And then there's uh, little circles on it, designs. You can add your own designs. There's a circle here, half a circle there. Another kind of like a circle there. These would be fun to do with watercolors, uh, play around with watercolors and, and bug, do these bugs. All right, there's one bug there. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do the other bugs a little faster if you thought that was fast. Uh, this is gonna go a little faster. Let's see if we can get them in there. Uh, just a little bit of the shading. Uh, the same head heights are almost the same. It has like uh, this um, these designs on it. Now we're going from big to small, big to small. And you're gonna see that theme all tonight. I, I organized tonight's pictures in that order where we go from general to specific. And that's how we draw. We wanna draw the big stuff first and then go to the smaller things. That was another theme on Tuesday. We're just putting the spots on here. And kind of, it's like a puzzle. You're putting all the pieces where they go, seeing how big they are, how they fit. We got the big shapes first, and then you put all the little shapes in. Oh, and then you can't forget the antennae. The antenna, the antenna has two antenna. It has a one at this angle and one at that angle. It looks like it widens up a little bit, right? And I kind of uh, imagine this is another triangle too. I can see this if I put a line up on top. I can see it probably goes a little wider. If I want to shoot for accuracy, I always check and look for accuracy. And if it gets there, if it gets there, if it doesn't, it, next time, there's always next time. And then there's like little spots on the antenna itself and it gets thinner as it gets closer. So you're learning to observe, learning to see, and just try to capture what you see. 
If you get it, you get it. And if you don't, it, there's always next time. There's always next time. You want to shoot for accuracy, uh, but not perfection. It's not going to be perfect, perfect all the time. But the more you practice, the more you'll progress, the closer you'll get to, to doing it accurate. All right, let's 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 get to another bug. Now, there's this bug that's right next to this bug that's, uh, that's uh, up here. Now, this bug, I can actually see it as a as one hole. I can see this hole as a as a almost like a triangle. Uh, this bug right in here, it's, it's like a triangle shape like that. There's a lot more roundedness to it, but I can see this is really going to help me get get it, get it uh, going. Again, the, we go from general to specific. This is the big shape first, and then I can see it start breaking this down. I can see the body that kind of fits in there. Now with a triangle. One angle is done already. This one is horizontal. That's easy. This, these angles here are the other angles, right? Um, and it's almost, uh, I would say it's almost a um, equilateral triangle, which means that all the sides are equal. But trying to get the angles, because if you do your angles differently, you'll get a little spikier, um, a spikier moth or butterfly, whatever this is. I think they're moths. All right, so we've got that there. The, the head does come out to there. Actually, comes out a little bit more. The wings actually curve in. And let's get the head in there. All right, so this is pretty much, pretty much what we're looking at. This is just the framework because the, the wings kind of go in there. Let's get that head. The head is half a, half a circle, cut, cut right in there. Put that head in there. It's just half a circle right in there. And it looks like there's two little white eyes right at the ends right in there. Two little white eyes. You're going to shade all this. You can see that. That's it. And then the antenna goes to two different angles. It kind of comes out this way, and then it goes out a little bit. So there's two different angles. One and then two. Two different angles. And there's other things going on, but uh, that's pretty good. As far as the shape, the shape does change. <laughs> Not that much, but uh, it's all good. It changes good. <clears throat> all right. I can see the ratio of the body. Let me focus on this body. The body does kind of come out, and, uh, and I don't. I can see. There we go. The ratio, the width to the height. <clears throat> So if this was a one circle, let's see if I can, how many circles can fit in there? One, two, three, it looks like it's three. So here's one, two, three, and a little bit more. <clears throat> so um, I might be pulling out a little bit, but mine, mine I think looks fine. There is a design right about in here. It's in this just half a circle. Uh, it's, it's more of, of a, yeah squashed. Actually, it's more of a square. It's a little more square with the corners kind of cut off. Whatever design that is right there for that mod. Let's get those wings on there. Again, you can be drawing all of them at your own pace. Uh, you don't have to follow what we're doing. Here, I'm just kind of showing you how I would break them down. And these, this is just good practice. Good practice to practice, practice, practice. That's what we do here. We practice. All the lessons will be on soon. <laughs> I'll say that soon. But they're being recorded now. And uh, that's it for this one. That's it. That looks pretty close. That looks pretty close. I'm looking at the, the ratios, the angles. That looks pretty, pretty close. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's go to the next one. Am I upside down? Is that it? Wait, wait, no, that was fine. Let's do uh, let's let's do one more. If you'd like to do uh, any other ones, you can. Whoa! I lost my other image. I right, I'm gonna do. Let's see. Hmm. Let me request. There we go. I lost my camera, but I'm sure. Oh, let me see if I can make sure that you can see. Yeah, that's it. I've got space right here. Which one, which one? Let's see, let's do. Let's see which one I like. Mm -hmm. 
They're all really interesting. They look like cutouts. They look like they cut them out of um, paper. I'm going to do the one if you're if you're looking and following along. This is this is the big bug. I'm going to do the one the big bug that's right here in this area. That's right here in this area. But I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to bring it up over here. All right. We're going to start off with um, same thing as the head. The head. Let's make sure there's enough space. Um, the head is is about twice as wide as it is tall. It's like this much, twice as wide. If I were to put a line right down the middle, it's almost like two circles uh, that are put together. This one's a little more rounded and uh, very similar eyes, uh, big eyes in there. So we're gonna put one in there, one big eye. And then another one, it's a little bit smaller, probably a little bit closer. Uh, I, I put too much, my placement is off. That's okay. I'll just let you know my placement's off. But nobody, shh, it's just between us. These, these are cutouts. I think Demi made a comment that she um, she had posted them by mistake. They were from a collage. She was doing collages and she posted these by mistake. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Happy mistakes. But I know they're good. cute. <laughs> they're, they're very cute. They are very cute. All right. I can see if you see this and then you look underneath, you can see the, um, yeah, there we go. It just comes down to, let me see. I'm going to measure how many heads. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think that was about five and a half. So let's see. Here's one. Trying to trying to take that measurement. One, two, three, four, five and a half. So five and a half. Five and a half. Right about there. This helps get you your proportions. Your proportions, you take one unit and then you see, you use that to see um, you know, uh, the next shape. And this next shape is as wide as, a little bit thinner, but it's almost as wide as the head. And then it just comes down to this point that's right in here, five and a half. So we're gonna do that, bring it over, and then just bring it down to that point. And those little circles can, use, uh, can, can be part of the design. Ooh, it actually comes straight to a point. A little straighter. I was, this, I was thinking of this one, not getting them mixed up. It's going straight, straighter to a point. It's not as rounded. If you look, uh, am, I, am I drawing the right one? <laughs> That's all good. Maybe it is one, two, three, four, five, five. That's good. All okay. right. Now you got the angles. Now these almost look like uh, half circles. These look like half circles. So get these angles coming out this way, one angle that way. And then uh, the, the next angles here. There is quite a bit of open space. So look at here and then look there. This one's, uh, this line's dividing this angle here. Comes, it's coming out from that point. There we go. Then the curve is a little stronger right in there. There we go. All right, this is going to be the last bug. We'll jump to the tree next. We're going to jump to the tree. All right, so the tree is really interesting. The tree is, uh, we're going to look at the big shape, which is an oval shape. And then you'll see the, uh, you'll see the triangles. And that's the, the theme for tonight. That's how we draw. That's the how. We look at the big stuff first and kind of break it down. Sometimes, well, I did this one backwards. What's interesting about this one is the, the antenna. We'll see. So there's kind of like some back wings back here. And then there's little circles, um, little circle designs on there. All right. We're only going to go till 8, maybe 8.30 if we push it. But um, we'll see tonight. Maybe we'll take a little break till we got, we got some. Something happened in here. All right, now let's take a look at the antenna. The antenna, I can, uh, that, this is a good way of breaking it down. I can see these squares. They're kind of like a square shape. So one in here and one over there. And um, this helps block the antennas in, right? Uh, that's just kind of where they're kind of going to go. Let me zoom in. Right in there. You can see the, the, the antennas. Now um, it goes from the inside, inside, there it goes. And then it's gonna go around, it wraps around, it wraps around. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go from the outside, wrap around. You can go light, 
if you're not if you're not um, confident, you want to build your confidence. So you want to you can go light until it's right. I'll do the next one light. I'm already going dark. Uh, I'm kind of feeling pretty confident with it. Then I can. Uh, there we go. See now I'm going back the other way. And, uh, it's pretty thick antenna, kind of like that. So if you're not feeling confident, you can actually go in there and just do it lightly. So I'm blocking in kind of like I did the block there. Lock it in. And then I'm going to go in here a little lighter. And this one actually kind of curves like that. See, I'm just doing it really lightly now. And now I, I, I like it. Do it light till it's right. If I need to make any changes, I'll make them. But I think that's pretty good. This one curves a little bit more as, as I look at it. And that looks pretty good. So um, that's it. I feel confident. And sometimes I feel confident and it doesn't turn out. And that's okay. It's like, oh, man, I thought it was going to turn out. But to just, you just do it. You just do it. And then just kind of like, you know, you get these ups and downs and you go through the trauma. You go through the, <laughs> but you learn how to handle it. Because this is not, you know, these are, these are little problems compared to the real problems in the real world. But you got to learn how to handle these problems. I mean, these little situations, it's like, okay, boom, you try to, good thing you can like, like a video game, you know, you get a lot of lives. Same thing with drawing, you know, okay, if you don't get this one, you'll get the next one. I mean, it's the same thing. There you go, shade it in, that makes it stand out a little bit more. And I'll shade this one in too. That makes it a little bit, so, so there's not so many lines and it actually clarifies because then you can see the shape as I shade this in. See, that looks better there. And then maybe I can do some more shading here and there. Let me shade the body. Ah, there's like little lines on this side. Let me see. There's like, yeah, like little lines. One, I'm just going to, I'm just going to draw them in. They're on one side, almost like hatching. Part of the design. You can design them any way you like. That's actually pretty cool. If um, you can do your own um, Zen tangles. Some tangles and there's some nice texture on here. All right, let's jump to that tree. You can put these onto the tree or the tree uh, around. There we go. Let's jump to the tree. Let me share my screen. And jump to the tree. Let's see. Uh, let's close that. There we go. If somebody can get the tree and put it in the um, chat, that'd be awesome. Let me see. Let me close this. I opened it up twice. Can I get a large view of the uh, bugs? I'm sorry? Can I oh, get a... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me zoom out. How's that? Those three bugs? All right, there you go. Let me... Uh, close that. Oh, that's right. Share my screen again. There we go. Share. Next, next picture. Did somebody upload the, maybe if you upload it. Oh, I know. Yeah, it, it's, it's upload. It is. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, here it is. So um, this tree is made up of. Um, uh, the biggest problem I have is that, is that a figure. That... Oh, the figure. <laughs> well. I was, I was not going to talk about it. Okay. Yeah, the figure. All right. The figure. Now, the figure, it's interesting. Let's uh, let's break that down. Let me break down the tree first, and then we'll break down the figure. Now, the tree is, is really simple to break down because that's that's uh, really just uh, an oval shape. If I put the oval shape, you'll see it. Uh, and it's in green. I think we need to go a little bit wider than that. Uh, let me control Z that. Let's go wider. I don't know if that's too wide, but uh, now it's green. There it is. Ah, there's the shape. Now you can see the shape. That's the shape of the tree. You want to see, again, we're going from general to specific. So you can see that's the general shape of it. And then you've got these triangles. Now the triangles are, um, you have the main triangle here, these main branches here, this one here, this triangle. And if I'm going from the outside, you kind of see that, um, these angles here. Oops. What happened? Let's do it again. Uh, or maybe I don't have a mouse. There, is. there it goes. Right there. You can see that that triangle. And then there's another one here. This is another main one. There's these three main ones. And then kind of everything else kind of goes off of that. 
everything else kind of goes off of these branches. Uh, oops. Oops. Come on. There we go. Right in there, you can see that those those it's kind of like a double V. And then there we go. And this is vertical, and you can see that the trunk kind of sticks out. Now for this, this uh, this is a really rounded here. But here, this is a, a strong angle you want to uh, see. The angle of this arm right in there, that angle, that angle there, and then this angle here. And it's not a really clear picture of, of this person, but we'll put that there. One thing I do want you to notice is the, 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 um, the ground that it's on. The ground is pretty, is not symmetrical. It does kind of, it does kind of swoop on this side. I mean, it, it is symmetrical, but then on this side, it kind of almost like flattened out a little bit. So that's what's happening there. All right, let's let's uh, jump into this. Oh, another thing to notice is um, if we get half of this, because we're looking at proportions. When you're looking at proportions, you're making comparisons. We're comparison, comparing. So if we look at the half of this um, whole ellipse and we um, move it down, half, that's half, that's about half ways. That's the size of the trunk. So that gets you, you know, you know, you let me see, put it up here, select that. And yeah, it's about half, half, half the size of that oval. Half of this oval right there. That oval. Uh, that the trunk, that's how long the trunk is. Okay, good. Good to see that. All right, let's do this. This is gonna be fun. All right, stop sharing. I don't know if somebody put it. Oh, it is in the it's in the chat. Awesome. Oh yeah. Let's just draw. Let's just do this. All right. Good, good, good. All right. Next fresh sheet of paper. Oh. If you don't like it at all, <laughs> if you don't like it at its worst, you can't appreciate it at its best. <laughs> that that goes uh, somebody else. That's another quote, but this is kind of modified. Your, your artwork. All right, so here we go with that oval. I didn't check to see the, the height compared to the width, but I, I get the feeling it's about, about that much. It's about that much. And if I need to get up a little higher, it's about that much. I would say this is probably almost twice as wide as it is tall. That's the, the this oval that we have here. That's that oval. And then uh, let me see if I can download your picture. I, I don't, I didn't, uh, I could have, Snapshot mine. Oh, what's to say? It's all good. I could have snapshot mine, but uh, I don't know. That's all good. I do remember that we did have this triangle here, the triangle, and I'm just blocking it in. I'm just blocking it in. I did see that triangle, the triangle kind of going in there, um, right about there. And we do get that half, that halfway mark. And that's how far down we're going to go from here. So from here, we're going to go about halfway. See, that gets our proportions right. That way you don't have a really long tree or a really short tree because we're, we're making these comparisons. That's a really good one right there. And you can see, and this was kind of like um, almost symmetrical here, but it does kind of pull out uh, at an angle. I would say, uh, yeah, but that angle, that's a good angle right there for that um, bottom of the the ground all right and i can easily really quickly can kind of see how this um this character is going to fit right about there and about that size about that size see i'm just i can really quickly just represent that as a circle right in there where he's going to be right there where he's going to be the, the the width of the trunk a little bit thinner right about probably about that thick we got that one triangle, and then we've got this other triangle there. And that's kind of blocking. That kind of it's a really good blocking in, I think, of where everything's kind of kind of go. See, we're going from general to specific, general to specific. That's the general. That should kind of you should be looking it back and forth and kind of seeing is can you imagine the finished drawing there now? Begin with the end in mind. All right, let's get all this detail. There's a lot of detail. So, um, and how are we gonna 
take on this challenge, we're gonna kind of uh, start blocking in the, the, the big branches. So there's a big branch here, the, the main trunk, here's the main trunk, this main, uh, this next branch in here. Now what I can see, I can see this almost looks like a, a, a the negative space. The negative space kind of looks like a teardrop. Notice the angle of that teardrop, right? That, there's this teardrop that's right in there. See if you could see it, that teardrop, that negative space, the space that's not there. And that'll help you there. And then you've got this other branch here. And this is kind of like, it looks also, we're gonna draw, <laughs> we're gonna draw the tree by drawing what's not there. And then you can see this other, um, this one is, looks like more like a diamond shape, but it's the same kind of like um, a teardrop, but now it's like more like a diamond, diamond shape, uh, right about there. And that's the negative space. And then look at the positive space and it looks, mine looks like it's a little wider than it should be. That's okay. I'm just blocking it in. Now I'm going a little bit darker and I'm going a little bit darker here because now I can see that's, that's the way it should kind of be turning it around. This one, there's the branch actually, there's a little bit of a bend in that branch right in here. And these are the finer details that I can, I can start adjusting. See that little bend that I put in there, that little branch. And um, just like you should be able to zoom in and zoom out, see big shapes, middle shapes, and kind of zoom back and forth between those, you should also be able to zoom in on, um, on, on the detail and zoom in and zoom out on that. All right, here we go. I'm doing it in lightly. There's a lot of branches. Let's see, we've got the three main ones. That's that one, that one, and then this, this next one here. This next one, here. Uh, this next one does taper out uh, and kind of goes out this this big old branch and it gets smaller as it comes up and i'm doing it really lightly really lightly because on top i'm going to go dark just like i did right there so again do it light until you until you um feel it it's right um, there's all kinds of tertiary branches secondary branches all right so these are the primary branches hmm, that's interesting there's a uh, there was a really good story about friends you got to find friends that are solid like the trunk of a tree some friends are branches you know you can you can you know get on them and um, trust them so much but when you um, put all your weight on them sometimes those branches will break you got to find the solid branches <laughs> those friends I don't know somebody came up with that analogy it was a story you know and once you find a friend like that you, you want to hold on to them and appreciate them and know that they'll be there. That's interesting. All right, so here's this the trunk, the trunk of a tree, the main, and it does taper out as it goes on to the, uh, the ground. Let's taper out a little bit. There we go, it's coming along. There we go, we got another little branch coming out from on this side. And it stay, it's, we're gonna to try to keep it to stay inside our oval. If it goes out a little bit, that's a little, it's okay. We're following that general shape. Uh, these, are, these are just uh, almost, well, even out here, they are just pretty thick lines. I can already start getting these are the, the smallest of the branches, which would just be lines. On these small branches, this one here, it's starting to get thicker. It gets a little bit wider. And then it attaches itself to that the main branch. So yeah, there's like I guess there's three kinds of branches. You have the the, the three main ones, uh, I guess the primary branches. You have these secondary branches, the secondary, and then the tertiary, the third branches. The third branches are just lines. The third branches are just lines. So these are the secondary branches. Here's another secondary. That kind of kind of comes out here. Maybe I'm going a little too far. I'm making a primary of the secondaries. There it is. You can see that that in there, that that shape. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on here. I see three on this uh, primary branch. I see three secondary branches coming up. There's one, two, and three. And part of that diamond shape, one, two, three, right in there. And I'm just kind of placing placing them. 
but they are secondary branches. So I'm gonna go there, those three there. Uh, let's go back up here. And this primary branch kind of branches off into two secondary branches going up that way. Yeah, each drawing is a, like a puzzle. This one is a really complex. It's a really complex puzzle. There's a lot of things going on here. But if you can see the, the primary branches, the secondary branches, and the tertiary branches. The tertiary are just these lines. And that's a good way of breaking it down. Breaking it down here. We've got these secondary branches here. This one kind of overlaps that branch. This one overlaps. So this is going to overlap that one. I'm going to already, I'm already going darker on this one here, that one. So this is that one right there. This one's going up, darker, up there. And then, then there's another one that branches off of that one right in here like that. Now these are tertiary branches. Once we're up here, these are all tertiary, which means they're just, just a line. They're going to be just a line and they branch off into smaller little twigs, but they're all just little lines. All right, I did that one right there. Kind of getting the general area. I'm not, I'm not, um, okay, I'm going back and forth. We've got these three main branches right in there. Ooh, I like that tw twist. All right, so I'm gonna try to capture that twist. That's this first branch on the left. It does have this twist that kind of comes in here. I'm gonna try to capture that, that twist uh, right in there. See, right in there, I like that. Actually, ooh, it, uh, doesn't curve back up, it just curves out. Well, that's it, it just curves out. It goes up and curves out, that's it. Now I can I can um, get those other branches on there. This is the first branch, which is like a secondary, going into primary, and they're going out. It opens up right in there like that, like that, there you go. When I, it's a secondary, it's still, you can still see the inside. Tertiaries are just lines. And there's some tertiaries on there. Tertiaries. Different thicknesses of that branch. Here's a primary. This is back to this primary. There we go. Maybe this secondary that goes off this primary. Look at this one. On this uh, primary branch, this, I want to go off of this first, first primary branch. Here's another secondary that kind of comes up this way and then opens up right in there. Yeah, right in there. That one opens up. There's that one. And notice how it fits in that space. And then there's two more. There's one right in here, which looks like uh, this one probably goes up a little higher. I'm trying to get it to squeeze in. <laughs> yeah, that one. And then there's a bunch of other, other little ones in between here trying to get the main branches and then all the other small stuff kind of just fits in. But you can see how I just did that right there. And there's little curves. Now I can see the little curve. I got the angle first. Now I can see the curves. This one has a little bit of a kink in it, the secondary branch. Notice the thickness of it. You do see the little kink. Notice the little kink I got in there. And then this one's a little straighter. There it is. Bam. See? And these branches are tapering smaller as they go up. So keep that in mind. As they go up, they taper. This one tapers from a primary to a secondary to even a tertiary. This, this, the, this main branch that's going up here out to this area. And kind of curves out. It'll go out a little bit. That's it. Ah, look at that. That's good. There's another tertiary coming out of here. Try to get the, the little curves and stuff as it curves. All right. There's one, two. This one. These are like tertiaries kind of coming up and out. They fork out. There it is. These tertiary branches. Just getting them in there, seeing how they fit. All these little tertiary branches are just little lines and getting them to fit. But you should be able to, you know, see all the different types 
that one. This is the main one right here. This is the center one. Yeah, this is the center one. So this is a secondary because there should be a thickness to it. There is that, that thickness. It goes out to a tertiary. There's a tertiary right there. Tertiaries are just lines. Tertiary branches. All right, go. Eh, just fill it all in. We're almost there. Actually, we're not even halfway, but you get the idea. You get the idea. Yeah, try to see the main branches and then everything else just fills in. Everything just kind of fills in, especially if you see, see the big branches first. That kind of gets you going and then just start filling the rest in. All right, here we go. Let's just keep it going. This one branches out to a Y. This one right here branches out to a Y. Right in there to, to secondaries. These are secondary kind of branches. Yeah, because the primary is about this thick. That's these three primaries, one, two, three. Then the secondaries are about that, that thick here that with a thickness. And then the tertiaries are the ones that are just lines. Interesting thing about a tree is um, it really mimics the brain. I mean, you can see how the brain uh, kind of uh, arteries, the heart kind of branches out like that. Really interesting biology, how it works. It's just the miracle of life. All right. There's some shadows and shading. I'm not going to get too much into it. There's a lot more detail stuff. If you can see it and put it, great. If not, just do the best you can. What's important is the process. How did we do this? Seeing big shapes and going to small shapes. And see these tertiaries, kind of seeing them getting these little tertiary shapes. And the way they kind of change direction. Notice the direction of these lines. Go in one direction and they go in another direction. The flow of the line. The direction of the line. There we go. There's some secondaries I just threw in there. And this one has a lot of tertiaries. I'm just going to throw those tertiaries on top. I'm going from left to right now. I don't think I missed any. Or am I? I might. Oh, I might have missed some tertiary maybe in here. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just adding a tertiary because I feel it should go there. Oh, um, I think it was this one. That's ah, okay. Nobody's going to know, hey, you're missing a branch. See, <laughs> let's see. Let me put something in the chat. What about the quaternary, quaternary branches? What are those, the ones you don't see? I don't know. Which ones are they? Quaternary, quaternary, quaternary branches. branches. But yeah. Tertiary. The third ones. <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> A day without a laugh is a day wasted. All right, let's let's keep it going here. Uh, all right, seven forty-eight. Wow, we got to jump at eight o'clock. We got to jump into those characters, uh, character faces. Wow, a lot of detail. Let's not get lost in the detail. That's easy to do. See, you can get lot easily lost in the detail. Uh, all right, so I got this other branch that kind of comes up here. All right, this is attached to that. This middle branch branches off up here. I think it um, needs to come up here. A secondary right up around. There we go. There. Up. The secondary branch up there. And that goes into a Y. Right in there. It splits to a Y. So from here, it goes up, splits to a Y. And then another Y it actually splits into another Y right in there. And then another Y up here. I think that's two Ys. And then a lot, lot of other other tertiary <laughs> quaternaries. All right, so yeah, that's that's just secondaries. You no, know, just secondary secondary branches. That secondary branches go up, up that far here. There we go. Let's get these two wise these wise guys. There we go. Let's see that right in there. Kind of look like antlers, and it's symmetrical. It's kind of like uh, same on both sides as it comes up. And then from there, yeah, you can get some of these uh, tertiary branches off of that. Let's see, tertiary branches. I, might have, I'm, I am going a little bit outside that, um, that oval, and that's okay. And that's okay. If you need to do the same, do the same as well. I got all these little, little branches, all these tertiaries kind of like that. That one's more like a wiggle, wiggle. 
I don't know what my accuracy is. I think I'm losing my accuracy, but I know. They almost kind of like go to the letter Y. You can see they branch out to the letter Y. Yeah. And up to you how accurate you want to go. You, know, you want to shoot for your accuracy. There's a little more twists and turns and a little more bumps and stuff that I'm missing, which we could, could go on. I'm simplifying a little bit. Let's get some more of those tertiary branches up in here. You got that one. Up in here, there's another tertiary. And these should be turning into tertiaries. There you go. And it's just filling it in with the tertiaries. Filling it in with these tertiary, tertiary branches out there. All right, I think now we're halfway. Bring this branch out. Oh, this one goes over that one. I lost the overlapping. There we go. And we'll, then, we'll, <laughs> then we'll go after our little character over here. Put a little bit of a bump on this side. Let's straighten out my, uh, let's see. There we go. All right. We're going too fast. There's a little bit of a bump right in there. And this is just like the detail. See the detail. I see that and the, this angle there. See the character's going to go there. The tree's looking pretty good. Yeah, let's see. Uh, we are so funny. <laughs> Heptagonary. <laughs> I think I just... <laughs> I like that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> What's next? I don't even... I don't, how do you pronounce that? Hep... Let me see. Heptagonary. Heptagonary. So there's tertiary. Quat quaternary. That's four. Cuatro. Quatro. <laughs> quarters, and then heptagonary is five. All right, let me see. All right, got that branch, got that branch. Ooh. I'm getting lost. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, these branches here, these three. Yeah, these are secondary branches come, coming up here. Let's see, these are secondary branches. So let's get these secondary branches. I can thicken them up really quickly right in there. I got the position, placement, and they branch out. Branch out, branch out. There we go. We'll probably take a little break after this. Uh, probably take a 15 minute break. We've never really done that before. Uh, get get uh, time to stretch and take a look at the figures that we're going to be drawing. So we're going to take a little, like a 15 minute break. And uh, maybe play some music, or actually, I can probably play a video. Oh, no, I don't know. Yeah, I think I can. I'd rather you served snacks. <laughs> okay, I'll tell, serve some snacks. <laughs> we'll serve some snacks. All right, let's see. There we go. Yeah, it's important to get your stretch, get your all that stuff in. There we go. Uh, branching, branching out. We're branching out to new frontiers. Let's see. Oh, look at this angle here. This one's got a lot of tertiaries. They're getting really branching out to like the letter Y's. You can see the Y. That's what it's uh, the Y's tree. All the Y's. All the Y's are branching out. Let you know. So now that you, we've broken it down to secondaries and tertiaries, you can probably draw your own tree from memory. Like say, okay, here's the secondaries, here's the tertiaries. And uh, trying to get the different angles. Like here, I'm, I'm missing these angles. It just has some really nice bends in it, the secondary bends. And then it sticks out a little bit right in there. You can see I'm kind of like trying to keep the, the, the shape of that oval. Maybe it goes out. But I'm losing it a little bit, going out a little too far. That's okay. We got the general shape, the general general. All right. Now a lot more detail. All right, let's attack, let's attack this character over here. If you get him, great. If you're having trouble, let's see. All right, so the, our character here, let me zoom in. Uh, there's, there's, uh, there's a lot more going on here. 
All right, let's zoom in. And then we'll take our break. Well, actually, I, you know what I'll do? I'll show you all the pictures because there's so much. You don't have to take a break. You don't have to take a break. Uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, pictures. I'll show them. Uh, and you can draw your own characters, actually. That's what we have on tap, your own characters. Um, so you can practice those while uh, take a little break. All right, first first break ever in two years, actually. This is the first break ever. I don't think we've ever taken a 15. We've had technical difficulties. That's not really a break. But um, all right. Okay, so there's two parts to this. There's there's the, the head part, and then there's the body part. All right, so the head part, let's see the head part right about there. It's, it's almost like an oval shape. Um, yeah, that oval shape right in there. And then the, the body, and you're getting that angle, this angle. See, I'm cutting right into there. And then I'm seeing the back of the, the back of that. And um, getting he's going to be floating a little bit. I'm going to have to bring him down just slightly or bring the ground up. There we go. Bring the ground up. And then the foot. And the foot. And the, I, I see this shape right in here. This shape it kind of looks like um, it's almost a teardrop shape, but, but it's rounded at the bottom. I can see there's a roundedness here. And then this angle's pretty straight. And then the head. That's the shape I kind of see. His hands are right there. And then I can probably, yeah, this is going to be the, the, the foot right in there, that angle. Right. And up there. And I probably need to bring the head down a little bit more right in there. See, but it's this, it's this kind of like a, it's a rounded teardrop shape. It's just this angle there, the angle of the feet. A little bit of a toe, a little bit of a foot right in there. I'm already putting it in. I'm going to have to bring this ground up a little bit. There we go. Just slightly. That's it. Um, yeah, it's it's knowing anatomy a little bit. I, I don't, um, there's no, no way around it. Um, the tricky part is... Um, This arm that goes back into space. So this arm goes here, and then it actually the elbow. That's actually the elbow right about there, and it kind of goes back. There's a little bit of a taper there, and then there's a little bit of a hand. You kind of have to almost know that anatomy to to kind of like make it convincing. Convincing it comes up, and I'm just kind of like okay, adding a little bit of this shoulder right there, a little bit of that shoulder. And then just the, the back swoops. I'm going to straighten it out a little bit and swoops down. There it is, like that. All this is shadow in here and also wrinkles. This is all wrinkles and shadows. Right in there. All right, right in there. Okay, all this is shadow area. All that shadow area. And that feel of the, the leg as it tapers out too. This, this leg should taper out a little bit because it's wider at the base, the thigh, that thigh. And then bring that up a little bit more. Bring the head down, because the, the, the shoulder is overlapping the head a little bit. Wow, am I zoomed in? Let me zoom in a little bit more. Just the detail in here, and I'm, <laughs> I'm almost doing surgery here. There's a little bit of an ear shape. <laughs> See that little hook I just did? And then uh, the, all this is just hair around it. That's the ear shape and then the hair. And I'm just gonna just try to get that, capture that form and shade it in because all this is just shaded in here. And then the, the front of the face, just the line out and the line in. That's that's pretty good right there. Pushing this in a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And uh, there's no, there's some little bit of shadow lines or wrinkles that kind of go under underneath here too. And that's it. I think that's pretty good. I mean, shade, and then this leg is shaded. So all this is in shade. Pushing this back. All right. Let's get all these. Uh, reminds me of Shell Silverstein. I don't know. Is this a Shell Silverstein? But I don't. I don't think so. 
No, it's not. It's probably reminding you of the giving tree. Yeah, the giving tree. Yeah. All right, there's a lot of texture and a lot of dots. I'm just going to just like go put them in real quick. Get all this texture in here. See, all this texture and detail goes last. All this stuff goes last. When I first started drawing, I did this first. Then my drawings were all over the place. This is why it's important to do the, um, to do the, uh, my power. Where's my power? To do the um, big shapes first. Then the detail. Plug myself in. All right, 801. Someone wants to see the, the rest see. of the tree. Oh, the rest of the tree. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see it all together. There we go. That's it right there. How's that? Thank you. All right, how many of you sticking it out? Let's see. All right, we've got, uh, let's see how many sticking it out. Participants, we've got. All right, uh, 19 of you, awesome. Thank you. Some of you guys are just coming in, that's awesome. All right, let me jump in. We're gonna jump into, um, I'm gonna show you the, the faces and stuff. We'll probably do a couple when I get back. So we're gonna take a little 15 minute break uh, and then we'll, we'll um, after, after I show the faces. So you can do your own. First time ever taking a break here. Uh, and there's a lot to draw, a lot to draw. Let's see, here we go. Let's uh, let me share my screen. There we go. All right, bye. Josh, thank you for joining us. All right, bye-bye. At this eight o'clock hour. Let me see, where's my... There it is. All right, cool. Go full screen on that one. All right, so I arranged these from general to specific. So, um, is it? here we go. General to specific. There's that tree. Oh, um, I was gonna break this down for you. This is an actually, you can look at this up, but this is an actual, uh, uh, it's a really neat, almost kind of like the Zentangle. Um, projects, but you'll see some of these. They're, they're, it's called neurological art. Let me see if it's neuro, neuro, neurographics. Uh, it's in the, ch oh wow, zoomed in, zoomed out, can't tell. But it's really interesting, it's really neat to do. Uh, really fun. It's abstract. Ah, this little puppy. Uh, it's, you can see the round shape and then how it's all kind of broken down. You can kind of see how I would break this down. I can sketch that out really quick too. The rhino, we'll do the rhino. Let me get back. Then we got the raccoon. Oh yeah, all these ones. Ah, here we go. This is fun. All these characters. What I want you to notice here is the side. The, the head is definitely round, but then you can compare the head to the body, and it's about the same. Notice the head and the body. You're almost drawing two circles. If you can imagine the head where the body is, and the body's uh, about the same size. If we look at it, uh, where's my tool? And compare it. Then, well, where's my tools? Yeah, this is what I, I'm used to having two screens. Oh, there's my tools. Uh, here we go, annotate. Here we go. Let's just do this real quick. There's, there's the head, one, and if we move that over, there's the body. So you can see that, and it's just two circles. And you can actually even see that angle there for to draw, the, for the copy and paste that circle. But then the hands kind of stick out, the hands stick out there, but that, that back almost kind of goes that uh, similar curve actually opens up a lot more, but um, it's, it's there. It's really close to there. It opens up a little bit more, but it's that same space for that. All right, let's uh, delete all this. Let's go to the next picture. I forgot about these figure drawings. Yeah, because that's general. That's the, that's the body. 
after the body, then you, you would get the, um, Why are we frozen? Looks like, oh, I know why. Uh, there we go. That should work now. There we go. Yeah, we're going from the body. Then we go, you can see the narrative here too. He's racing, he wins, and then he's uh, he's happy that he won. And then you've got uh, that he's tired. He's like, ooh, catching his breath now. Or this could have been another character. You've got all these characters here. If you want to screenshot that, you can screenshot these. And draw these as we take our break and we'll come back and draw these characters uh we might not have time i don't know we'll see i'll, I'll put one of these i'll leave one of these up i don't know if you want me to leave i'll have to leave because then too small yeah these are too small yeah there's all these characters and then we have simple faces these are very simple and and you should start off this way really you can see the different haircuts the different hairstyles all these faces are the same they look evil but the hairs the hair is all different the angry angry eyes speaking of eyes we got all these eyes these are really neat now with my students the, the biggest trouble they had with kind of drawing something like this is the thickness of the line don't forget the thickness of the line these lines are pretty thick so if you were to draw these notice the thickness of this line and then these lines these eyes they're uh, at angles Whoa. Going You're going too quick. Yeah, I hate that. that was an accident. All right, so you can see, um, and this is what I wanted to point this out real quick. Um, let me get this. Uh, you can notice by angle here, one eye is bigger than the other, and there's and it happens quite a bit. It's because it's almost like a three quarter view, even here on this on this this one there. Some of these are straight on. This one, these eyes are pretty straight. Uh, let me see which other ones. This, these eyes here, one's bigger and one's a little bit smaller. This one's probably further away, and it's probably facing. You know, this this is facing that way. You can see those two different angles there. Uh, let's see this out of the way. Where else did I see that, Michael? So that's something you really want to notice when you're looking at these eyes. Uh, See in the next one. Here we go. Yeah, a lot of mouths. There's some. Yeah, we've got a lot of pictures tonight. Noses. This nose is really good. This one right here. That one uh, in the top left. The first nose. Really good stuff. And some nose and mouth studies. Draw them on your own. Some more mouths. These are simple noses. You can see the different types. Even just practicing these are good. The other ones were a little more complex. So actually, that these should have gone first. But it is going from general to specific. Notice it was the faces, and then now this is all detail stuff. Um, I'm going to point out this ear real quick. This ear. Notice these angles here on this ear. This angle here. That angle there. That angle there and this angle here. Notice these angles. Even though this one's curving too, this is an angle here. This will really help. And this curves on here too. But but it's um, seeing that, that shape really helps you. And then you just just adding the curves is just you know the next step. Curves are easier to do. You want to see the angles first. And here this this ear here, this one in the middle is, is a lot more curved. But you should still be able to see the way it's broken down that first year. All right, this is a good one. All right. All right. Well, let's go to let's go till nine. There's a bunch of feet, the triangles. It's, it's also small. You might have to go to our meetup website to capture these in the hands. Definitely got a lot of drawing. A lot of stuff to really good stuff to just draw from. We're not def definitely not going to be able to do all these. And then we'll try to end up with this one. This is our last one. We'll end up with this tonight. So, all right, here we go with our break. I'll leave one on. Let me see. I'll leave one of these on during the 15 minute break. Uh, 
see which was the most interesting one. You can see all the parts and putting all the parts together, the different eyes, the noses. Those eyes are really neat. It's a lot of hair, different hairstyles, and good practice. That's a lot more specific. I'm going back. Oh, that one's neat. Actually, that one, that one, one of these. Those characters are actually really good. I think we'll leave this one up for 15 minutes. All right, I think we'll leave this up for 15 minutes. I'll turn, I'll mute myself, but I'll, um, I'll put that like that. All right, so uh, we'll see you in about, at uh, I guess around a little bit before 8.30. I'll be back and I'll, I'll draw these actually. We'll break these down. All right, we'll see you at, at uh, about 8.30. I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. All right, we are uh, four of you to dot. It's all good. Yeah, all right, all right. Here we go. Welcome back. Let's um, let's see if there's anything in the chat. I don't think I see anything in the chat. No, take the break. Can we see the rest of the tree? Yeah. Take the break. All right, so um, mm, ah. These heads and torsos are really interesting. Let's see. Um, let's break now. Here we go. Maybe circle. So you don't have to worry about. Um, you don't have to worry about. Oh, it's recording. You don't have to worry about drawing the eyes and the nose. Oh, well, the nose. Yes, the nose actually helps with direction where the the face is heading but it's a character you can see that's uh, one for the head the body there it is look at that two and then the um the trunk of the body and then the um the feet it goes down three then and and plus the feet the feet are probably like a quarter a quarter more just a little bit more but it's about almost it's a little more than three heads tall this character's three heads tall there. Here's our unit, our one. And if we bring it over here, you can see kind of how it fits there. So we're using the head as a unit to help keep things in proportion. See, there's the head there. That's our one. Bring it over here. A little bit of overlapping. If you see that body there, see that circle there? And then that circle there, that is the... Um, Proportions. Let's draw another one. Let's see, so we get two circles here. If I can get one exactly the same size as that. Lower. Lower. Right about there. That's it. Let's see if we can move it on top. It's probably just a little bigger. Let me see if I can make it a little smaller. Down shift. Slightly smaller. That's good. Let's see how. There we go. That matches pretty close. And there you go. Now you can see both circles together. Now this is what I'm I'm talking about when you want to abstract and kind of see the big shapes. You want to see these big shapes, and then you can see these middle size shapes, like the hand, as as one shape and how it fits in there. Don't get lost in the detail. Don't get lost in the detail. It's easy to get lost in the detail. Don't want to get lost in the detail. You want to see the big shapes first, and then, um, and then, yeah, yeah, and then uh, everything else. That's just the, like the framework. It's the framework of the house. And then you have two angles here. This kind of helps too. You see this angle coming out that way. And kind of uh, when you see lines too, there's a little bit of a curve in here. But if you see a line, you can imagine it continuing. If you can use your imagination. And, and, and watch it continue. Look at that, right? And see how it tapers, it goes thinner to, to thicker and see that, that shape. That'll help you get more accurate. That'll help you get your drawings more accurate. So uh, there we go. Let's, uh, I'll draw these pretty quickly. And then we'll jump to, uh, let's see, we'll spend about, it's 8.30 now. We'll spend about 15 minutes on, uh, on these. And then we'll spend another 15 on that other one. Let me see, I think we'll spend 15 minutes on these. Let me see what else we got on tap. Just to re quickly review, <clears throat> let's go back this way. Oh, yeah, these. Oh, I really like these too. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I like, I really like these characters. And maybe we can save them for next week, or even <laughs> uh, uh, these would be good for Tuesday, for Tuesday's class. Uh, this is really interesting. I really like this one because of the perspective. If you notice this, you can really see kind of like the perspective here. Um, this line going back at an angle, and even as it's closer here, it's it's bigger, and as it goes further back, it gets smaller. He does the same thing over here. Uh, let me see, a little bit there, but on this one, this pose right here, this pose it was a really good pose. With um, he understands perspective. Notice this. Um, notice this angle of the shoulders, the angle of the knee. All right, kind of going to a vanishing point, probably right about there. And even these that notice the, the angle of the feet, the feet, 
right? That angle there, kind of um, almost parallel, actually, to that. Uh, oh, the neat, this yeah, this one probably goes down more. So there's no real vanishing point, but they tend to head towards this angle. Ah, go oh, select. Wrong tool. There we go. That there we go. So definitely see that coming back here, and this kind of going out there <clears throat> to that angle. In here, there would probably be some kind of vanishing point. Actually, this one used to kind of go back to, to, to a vanishing point back there. So it is kind of breaking the rules a little bit of perspective, but they're getting, they're getting a good feel of it. They really don't, aren't going to uh, one vanishing point. And they are kind of uh, pointing to a vanishing point that's above. It looks like this would be a horizon line, or I don't know what it is. It kind of does play with that perspective. All right, enough said on that one. That was really neat. These are really neat. So yeah, uh, we'll save these for, um, we will save them for Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. So we'll draw these. Oh, these are cute too. Maybe this one for Tuesday as well. And then we got a lot of stuff. These are cute too. Oh, I wanna draw everything. We'll just we'll just do that. These are really interesting. These are kind of small, but you can see the head, torso, pelvis, and the legs, and the flow of everything, the flow of these lines. These are more studies. This is what you should be drawing. You should be drawing a lot, not just one. You should be drawing a lot, and this is a lot of detail and a little blurry, so I'm going to have to skip those. Those are good, though. I like those poses. Uh, the poses on the other one, these are a little stiff. These are a little stiff poses for myself. These are a little better. And this one, yeah, really fun to draw hair, different styles. And this is really cartoony hair. This one's a little more flowy. There we go, more illustrative. These are, I like illustrative hair. All right, and then we got the eyes. Oh, I really like these eyes. Uh, we'll have to, maybe next week. I really like the eyes. Yeah, we had a lot of pictures tonight. We did do faces. All right, so we'll go back to those characters, and then we'll draw, um, then we'll end the night uh, with uh, this picture here. Let's see. This one here. Ooh, hands. Fun. This picture, that one there. We'll do that one. All right. We'll take on that challenge. See how fast I can do it. If you, can, uh, if you want to get a, get a head start, you can get a head start. Not to, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. So two, two um, and then we'll call it a night. Call it a night. Here we go. Let's go back. I'll draw two or three of these. I'll draw one slow, and then I'll draw the rest as pretty quick. All right, where is he at? Way over here. Any questions, comments, suggestions? I'm open. <laughs> open, open. There we go. This is the one. All right. Let's just do this thing. Uh, I can screenshot this. Uh, screenshot this. Hopefully it screenshots well. And it doesn't get, uh, I might capture that, see if it does. Oh yeah, I did capture, let me get this out of the way. Try it one more time. Let's see. Yeah, X that. One more time. I think I can X this as well. Wonder if it's gonna take that. Let me escape. Let me close this. There we go. That's better. All right. Thank you for joining us. We're on our last uh, half hour or so of drawing, and then we're gonna wrap this up really quick. About fifteen minutes on this one, fifteen minutes on the other one, and then we'll call it a night. All right. There we go. Take on on these challenges. There we go. That's it. Ah. <laughs> That's all good. All right, it's in the chat. I'm sharing my screen. I'm gonna stop sharing and uh, let's jump to this. Make sure I have my drawing spot lit. There we go, that's it. And uh, here we go. All right. All right, we got our head. Oh, our head, there's a circle. Bring that down a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
sketched my circle in with that. And that's practice right there. Practice good drawing shapes circles. It is a little off circle, but that's fine. And we did say that the head was, uh, it's like three, three heads tall. So there's one, two, three, there's our snowman. And try to get them to be the same, two, three. And then we know that the feet are gonna be uh, out a little bit, right? A little bit lower. So uh, we have, that's our space that we're gonna need. We've got our space, All right? There's one head. Then I can notice the flow of this, um, the body. And it doesn't come out all the way to this head. It comes out a little bit, comes down and yeah, this whole. Can you tell us which one you're drawing? Oh, I'm drawing the first one that's on the left. The first one. The first first one that he's got his hand like that. Um, and he's got his other hand on his waist. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll draw that one. We'll draw the first and then the other one where he's got his hands in his face. We're going to do that one too. Uh, all right. So here's my circle. Here's the um, this this flowing. I know the bottom circle. This is where the um, the this body kind of ends, so, but it's flowing from here. Um, this part of that circle. See, here's three o'clock. Here's six o'clock, and the the neck is coming out right in here, right around uh, what is that? Five o'clock, four o'clock, four thirty, somewhere on there. At this angle, those two two lines, and then it flows onto this part. It flows onto this bottom circle, and even this this um, the whole body. Watch this. Well, this whole body is kind of like a bean shape. Here's the um, the glute, the, the 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 pelvis, the pelvis shape. Notice this bean kind of like shape, this bean shape. I want to get that solid bean shape. This is when you're kind of like seeing three-dimensional, not three-dimensional, x-ray, x-ray kind of vision. See that? That's underneath. And then I've got a hand right in here. I'll get a little bit bigger right in there. See, I can make it bigger. But this is just, I'm just kind of getting the um, the angles. This is the inside. And then you've got that other arm that kind of comes up. I'm going to do it in blue. I'm going to go over it in blue. And it tapers. Notice that taper right in there. And there's overlapping that shoulder overlaps. There's that shoulder overlaps. Well, onto, yeah, onto that neck right in there. And then uh, this flows right in there. It flows down. Notice the Low of this line, and there's a little slight curve to it, but it's notice the angle, slight curve down to here to the third one, and then the foot. The foot goes right under that third circle, and this is where the weight, the weight is on this foot. Most of the weight is on this foot. This person studied anatomy and figure drawing, and uh, that, that's the foot. Yeah. I notice that. Wow, I feel like it's ma magic. I'm like, I just do it. And uh, I don't know. I can see this big circle here. See that, that foot and shapes and forms. And once you draw these shapes and forms, you'll see them over and over. That's how I draw them so easy because I've seen these over and over. Look at that circle shape right there. That's it's uh, on that foot. But it's just that circle. And they've drawn shapes like this. The way this tapers, I, I really feel the form of that, then here this uh, goes out at an angle. A little bit of a gap, a little bit of an angle, a little bit of a curve, but straight. And then this one tapers right in there. And then again, there's that foot out that way. Right about there. And there it is. Now the hand, how far is that hand? How far does that hand go out? Well, this is this is a, a good thing. I want to see, I don't worry about the arm so much. I can kind of triangulate how far out that hand goes. And I can see how big it is. And I, I can see like almost like from here, this, this, I'm imagining a line from the this edge of this circle out uh, to try to triangulate where this arm is how far this arm goes out. And I can see that angle and I can see this. 
this is what I'm looking at there. And I can see that, that the shape of that hand, like just fitting in there like that. See, see the big shapes. It's almost like you got to squint your eyes, squint your eyes so you don't see the detail. You kind of kind of see that. Okay, there's the hand. It's right about there. It's about that big, about in there. And then you can start breaking it down. Then you can start breaking it down. If I need to move it in a little bit more, I would probably move it in slightly, slightly. See, I can make these adjustments. All right, and there's two parts. There's the, the palm, actually the fingers, then the palm, and then the thumb. The thumb is part of that palm, thumb right about in there. All right, so we got, I'm bringing it in slightly. There, all right, that's pretty good. A slight little curve, a little bit of a shoulder. I'm gonna bring my blue pencil now and uh, get all this stuff in here. All right, let's let's go blue. Let's go blue. Let's go blue. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Let's focus on the focus on the face. Focus on the face. This circle head. There we go. Now that's just blocking in. The nose really gives the direction. The, the, there's there's kind of like a circle shape. If you want to be able to see that circle shape, that circle shape right in there. I should have done it in green. And it's about that big. That nose right about that big. You want to almost see that circle shape that's in there, how big it is. It should have been in green. About that big, comes out about that much. It may be a little bigger. I'm looking back and forth, but I see that. Now I can see the top, of the nose kind of a little bit straighter. Then it goes around. And this one curves, uh, swoops a little bit more, like swoops. It's a little straighter on that, that side, and on this side, it swoops. So there's, there's the nose. There's the nose. And there's a little bit of a push up. A little bit of a push up there. And then this side is really rounded. This side is really rounded. On to the neck. Right in there. Bam. Bam. I know I make it look easy and it, it's it's simple, but it's it's really just a practice, 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 practice. Practice, practice, practice. practice, practice. Praise the practice. This is hours and hours of drawing. Sitting there and just drawing for fun, messing up. You either win or learn. Win or learn. Sometimes you just try to learn. Sometimes you don't learn. <laughs> you want to learn. If it doesn't come out, if you don't get a win, you got to see, okay, what's going on? Especially if you get a few in a row. All right, what is it? It's my angles, my proportions, and just focus on that for a while. You know, you can just focus on my angles, focus on the ratios. If you're just focusing on ratios, then that's, that's where you're at. That's where you're at. I'm going to focus on my ratios, and that's a good starting point is those ratios. Trying to see ratios. Look at the ratios. All right, the shoulder overlaps a little bit, right? It's overlapping. And then the angle of this arm kind of coming down. Notice that. Boom, right in there. Right there. And then this arm goes over the, the body. Right in there. Almost horizontal. It's, there's a slight angle up. It does go up slightly. About that far. It looks good. I'm looking at the negative space here too. That that kind of helps. Sometimes you got to take a break. It's almost like switching gears, and it's hard. You forget, like, okay, look at that negative space. Nice little swoop of this body right in there, and then you see almost like a little uh, slice of pizza right there, or it looks like an eye. If I, <laughs> those eyes we were drawing a couple weeks ago, or a week ago. Now the hand. Ah, there the hands. It's tough. There's two parts. Notice the palm. There's the palm. And then the fingers. The fingers are sticking out. Oh, you can see the angle. This angle is almost horizontal right in there. Is it? Yeah, it was. Up here. Lift it. The angle's almost horizontal. This line right there, straight across. And then the bottom just kind of like, yeah, just kind of almost swoops. So you can get a little glimmer of fingers, but there's that bottom part. There's this the top part. And then up to the elbow. Try to get that taper, that taper as it goes up and around. There it is. There you go. Then we got overlapping this uh, 
the waist goes over that hand. See, I drew it, I can see that this goes over and it swoops down, put a little more swoop in it than I had there. A little more swoop, is my angle right? A little more swoop, swoop, there we go. And then this leg right there, a little bit of swoop as it comes down. We try to get that solid, and I really like the feel of this. Let me zoom out. I really like the feel of this. Notice how it comes this way and that way, kind of like this curve right in there. That would be the gesture, the gesture. And it really just swerves onto this bone. And then the foot gets really planted right there. And I think it's a little straighter out. Actually, I'm gonna pull the whole, this, the weight of this, it looks like symmetrical. I'm gonna pull it forward a little bit. It goes a little straighter and then pull it. I just pulled it a little bit more forward. I'm exaggerating there, but you can see how I changed it. I probably pulled it over a little too much, but you can see in that adjustment there. How you don't have to, you just use the bottom as a guide. There we go. And then the, the body, this body curves up there, right in there. And then it stops and it almost continues to the neck with that that shoulder is open right there. There's open space. And look at that flowing, this flowing body, this flowing curves. It really flows really nicely. So you can see that flow. Oh, really nice. Boom. Here we go with the foot. Bam. Bam. Let me have this drawn already. Maybe you want to jump to the uh, other other one. Uh, how much time we got? Oh, yeah, we're going to jump to, we're going to do one more. I'm going to draw the other one a little faster. Let me get this hand in here. Uh, get that thumb going. Um, yeah, I'm going to draw the, uh, the next one a little faster. I'll draw it faster. <clears throat> I did point it out. So we'll see. There's one finger. There, let me zoom in so you can see the fingers. Yeah, hands are tough. Hands are, hands are, you got to really practice those. There's a bunch of hands. Um, in the meetup album, today's meetup album, there's there's three fingers only, and it curves around that uh, that shape right in there. And it is attached, actually. It's not. I did close it up, but it's attached. It's like looking away, saying "Stop." In the name of love, before. All right, there's a little bit of wrinkle or a little bit of um, that palm that connects those fingers right in there, so right in the middle. You got your three fingers. And uh, that's it. There he is. Watch this. The next one's going to go a lot faster. It's going to go a lot faster. And we're getting close. Actually, I'm a little over time. But uh, you'll see, I'll make it up right here. Here's my circle for this one. Let's zoom out a little bit. I'm going bigger. Go bigger, go home. There's that one. And then the other body, the body was, remember, there was a little bit of overlapping, about the same size. Uh, looks like the, and notice the angle, that angle, right? So you can have two circles overlapping about that much. And then here you have the, <laughs> that uh, Pisces. Actually, that's uh, an interesting symbol or sign. Uh, trying to capture that sketch, that circle, which one? <laughs> pick a circle, pick a line. See, this is really sketchy. Really sketchy. I was watching this, um, this uh, guy who was, uh, he has a hundred places on earth. And uh, he he used that word a couple of times. He goes, that road is really sketchy. That bridge was really sketchy. Because it wasn't, it wasn't a solid, solid bridge, you know. It's a little sketchy. It wasn't, you wouldn't, you know, until you make it solid. But you want to start off sketchy. And it's almost like, <laughs> it's like, oh, it's ugly. It's hairy. But this is the, we're just trying to find it, trying to capture that structure. <clears throat> All right, so then I, here's the head, here's the body. I can already see there's a slight angle down here for the, um, for the legs. And uh, the legs are gonna be in here. Let me speed this up. Uh, ready? And then I, oh, the taper, right? That taper, 
of these two legs. I'm trying to capture that form, see that, that taper. Oh, it did come from up here, I can't remember. From up here down to, to there, that angle. And then this one kind of going off that. See, that's really helps. Oh, that right there. And then the foot right in there. See, it's almost half, it's almost there. All right. So, uh, oh, the hand. The hand I see is a circle right about in there. See, it's taking about that much space right in there. The fingers, there's going to be some fingers right about in there. The nose, huh? and I'm already going blue. The nose is going to be right about in there. And then the elbow from this hand, right in, here, right in there, right about there, right about up here. This V shape right in there. And then that shoulder, that shoulder is part of that curve right in there. That's that's where that overlapping happens. A little bit of overlapping, that shoulder overlapping the head. Notice that. Oh. And the inner body. A little bit of a tummy. And a little bit of an angle there. Right in here, that back angle. Oh, and he's sitting on a box. Ooh, that's really nice box. There's this angle here for this box. And then right underneath the leg. And this part of the box is the one that's closest to us, this line. And then this goes, as this one goes up, this angle should go up here. If you haven't practiced drawing boxes, you got to practice drawing boxes. Look for boxes. Practice drawing boxes. Boxes are everywhere. You might have had cereal in a box. Look for that box. You might be in your room as a box. You're inside the box. You might be on a, your table as a box. You can see that as a box. You might have drove in a box, a car. Try to see the angles. And I uh, got to practice drawing those boxes there everywhere. You might be sleeping on a box tonight. Your bed is a box. All right. So it depends on your angle. You got to watch it and then uh, watch all these angles. It's all about the angles. Use your pencil if you have to. See, these are vertical, these angles, all there. All right. As long as you're not sleeping in a box. <laughs> I know, gosh, the times we live in. I would, if, I was, if I was the king of the forest, I'd change all that stuff. All right, I'm there. I'm just doing a lot of explaining instead of just drawing. Here's that hand. Okay, here's the thumb. <laughs> Breaking it down. Here's the palm. Breaking it down further. See the palm. There's one finger here in the weight curves. Another finger. Actually, yeah, this finger's on its own, and these other fingers, these, actually, there, there, there's three fingers. They're all together over here, see, right there. And then now I'm just going to draw. I'm just going to draw. I'm draw. I'm not going to break it down. Just got to practice. It really, that's really what it is. I should have a page of just drawing hands and videos and all the resources of all that stuff should be together someday in my dreams all for free all the research i've done and i ha i do have that i just need to put it together i do have it just need to put it together all right notice the tapering of this hand that comes out it does come out try to capture this form this this solidness of this arm notice it tapers as it comes out the nose is there underneath I'm going darker. See all my sh all my sketching, all my sketching, all the, the sketchy, sketchy bridge. I'm, I'm going solid with it. Notice I'm going really solid with it. And all the sketchiness is underneath. It's just like oh, helping find that form. We talked about these forms, the, the deltoid here, that shoulder. There's not much of a bicep. It just goes into that shape, that little, little roller coaster ride. It's a little straighter. I could draw faster if I wasn't talking so much. All right, let's just draw. But it's good to point this stuff out. It's good to see it. See this. This is the bean shape of the body here. Kind of see that bean, that that that. And really get that, capture that form, and feel that form. See that. Feel this bean shape underneath. And if you're focusing on the line, you're gonna you're gonna miss it. You're gonna miss it. That's why it's really important to be able to zoom in, zoom out, focus on on different things. Because what you focus on is your reality. Yeah, if you focus on the good, you'll see the good. If you focus on the bad, you'll see the bad. You gotta learn to know where to focus, what you see. Right. So let me see. I'm gonna bring this head up actually. 
I can see that it's probably up from, it's coming over here a little bit. I'm going to slight change actually, bringing it up and over. Um, oh, too much. <laughs> I went too far. He went too far this summer. The man who drew. <laughs> You got to find your boundaries. Where are your boundaries? Where do you draw your line? I, this is where I draw the line. This is where I draw the line. There's three. I'm just putting three little fingers there. Get those three fingers because I think yeah, it does come out slightly, but not that much. I'm going to bring this down slightly. I already went bold with it. I went bold, dark. Bring it down. There, that's better. It went too high. All right, here we go. These fingers, he's like, oh no, where do I draw the line? <laughs> he's like, like, where did I draw the line? What did I do? His nose, and he's got his other arm right in here coming down under that nose. And you can see this like fitting right there. Oh, look at that W. Looks like a W. This other arm right in there. Bam, right in there. A little bit of an elbow, a little bit of the inside. Oops, that's good. And let's put these feet in. His legs. All right, ready to jump on to our last drawing of the night. As soon as I finish this one, almost there. Let's get this foot in there. Our last drawing. It's going to be a toughie. I'm going to uh, zoom through it too. Again, you got to find your pace. You got to find your pace. That was a really good um, image I saw today. I saw it was the um, the classic tortoise and the hare. You know, the tortoise and the hare. Whatever it is, you got to find your pace. Slow and steady wins the race. I believe that for the longest, and it is true. Slow and steady wins the the marathon. But something. Uh, but if you <laughs> sometimes it's if you've ever seen some of these marathon runners, it's like fast and steady. But when you're first going, you know, you got to go your own pace. You're, you're playing the long game. You want to play. It doesn't matter how long it takes, but, you know, as long as it takes. When it takes, it's like, oh, wow. You forget how long it took for you to learn how to walk. You forget how long it took you to, to learn how to drive, you know, to learn anything. You forget. You forget the struggles. But you just, you can, um, there we go. You can, I'm adding, like, really quickly some shading and, so all this looks like shading, not just scribbling. There we go. See, oh, what did I do? Oh, this this back leg here, shaded down real quick. Look at that shading, giving it some form. Bam, making that not so sketchy. More like it was done on purpose. You can put a light source coming this way, and then say put a shadow out that way. The box is making shadow coming out, making it look like it's not floating. That's it. All right. There we go. Let's let's uh, go on to this next one. Good night, everyone. Thank you. A lot of you. See you next time. All right, Ali. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for <laughs> more technical difficulties, but that's okay. I think we're I think we're figuring it out. We're figuring things out. All right. Let's break down this face and let's do this and let's finish this up at least in fifteen minutes. Until nine fifteen, we're going over. It's all good. It's all good. Let's share my screen. Oh no. Yeah, let me share my screen. Sharing. There we go. Let's go to our face. Let's break this down. All these figure drawings, those are all fun. Yeah, again, do it on your own. Yeah, look at all these shapes. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, man, something in the chat. Oh, those, those are good. There we go. Three, two, five, four, three, two. One. I'll look at the chat in a second. Let me just get this drawing up and break it down. All right. So it's a face. Let's do it in 15 minutes. Probably, you know, we can probably spend all, like I said on Thursday, yeah, we can spend a lot. There's a lot of detail in here. Uh, okay. Thanks, Eladio. Good night. Uh, you are fabulous as usual. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Somebody with. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, all right. 
let's see. I'm going to screenshot this one. Let me, um, oh, I'm going to, yeah, screenshot this for everybody. It's really small. Bam. Let's do that. Capture that. And then post it. And then I'm going to download it. And I think I can get a better. Ah, there it is. See? Oh, look at that. Now I can zoom in on this. All right, here we go. Make it, oh, oh, I totally lost. That's too much. Let's see. Let's see, I can zoom in on that. Oh, look at that. Look at all that detail. Again, don't worry about the detail. You want to see the big shapes, the big stuff. All right, the big stuff. So let's see. Uh, oh, I'm just going to use lines. So you can see the, the eyes. And if you've drawn faces, I mean, this is this is the eye should be in the center. And notice the uh, the spacing. So from here to the chin, I'm probably going to spend five minutes uh, just breaking it down and ten minutes drawing this. And I can draw this pretty quick. So there's a lot of a lot of detail. There's one, and then two up there. Notice it goes up there. It it does go above, but the head does go above as well. The eyes should be centered. The eyes should be centered. Okay. So let's find this um, center of the nose. Here we go. Let's pull this up all the way to the top. Axis line. Um, notice these angles. From here to there. There's curves here. There's curves here. There's slight curve. This, uh, I would probably even say this is straight. This whole chin right here. Well, that's, you know. Let's see on this. There's a circular shape there. It's really rounded, but if you kind of imagine this together, oh, there's my line. There we go. There's one shape. Even though it dips right there, even though there's this, this is the shape you need to see first. That one right there. Bam. And then here's the jawline. The jawline is going actually over and there's right about in there. There's a little bit of a curve in here, a little bit of a curve. But this is the, um, the overall structure or the frame that I kind of see. Then the nose, the bottom of the nose right in there. And notice this looks like two squares. <clears throat> two squares. Notice the height and the width of that space. Then you can see this lip. Notice how far it is from the top to the bottom right in here. It's closer to the nose, right? Right there. Notice here as well this uh, end of the mouth up to the eye, right in there. The end of the mouth up to the eye, right in there. Right, kind of cutting those in half. Notice the square almost, it's a little bit longer, the square in the middle. All right, let me see, I'll screenshot that. Uh, Lucy wanted to sleep in Angel's Dog. Oh, Red, uh, treat sticks, I put a blanket on it. All right. Ooh, Ethereum is up. There we go. All right. So there's a lot of other things to look for too, like these shapes. Um, I I kind of like pretend. See, look at that. I pretend this these are, he, uh, this person wears glasses. You know, see the glasses. So you want to see this shape, and then we can break that down. See, like that. It's like it's wearing these glasses. Look at this angle here. That nose. This probably brings that down here too. And then this kind of goes out. You can see it like this, and you can see it like that. You can see these. So you can see that triangle in there. That triangle in there. All right. I'm gonna do two screenshots. And here you can see this this angle here. That's more specific, and this is more general. See, generally, this is the general shape, and this is a little more specific. And it does go in and out, which is even more specific, right? But you want to see general. To specific, so this is a lot more general. That shape there, that's a lot more general, and then getting a little more specific. All right, see that top, and uh, let's uh, screenshot that. Screenshot this. There we go. All right. Bam. Capture. There it is. Put it in the chat. And then now without the lines, let's clear all drawings and put it in as well. I don't know. I, I'm recording my screen. Let me see. Let me see if I can move this out of the way. 
There we go. We'll talk a little bit. That's it. And then uh, screenshot it one more time. Is this going out to everybody or to specific? Yeah, everyone. Oh, it's already in there. Somebody put it in. Oh, no, I did. <laughs> All right, the head is already in there. The face is already in there. And it's broken down. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Thank you for joining us. Last drawing of the night. We got this. We got this. We got 15. We'll do this in 10 minutes or less. No, it's already 9.06. So, yeah, I said 10 minutes. That's not actually not too bad. Should be 10 minutes to be done. We should be done in 10 minutes. All right. Let's see. What am I looking for? I am looking for da, 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 something. Oh, the chat. See if there was any. Oh, yeah, I do have a chat. Okay. Well, there's my picture. Make sure everything's. Uh, that's what I want to see. Make sure we are good. All right, here we go. Go with green. Let's go with green. Go with green. Oh. Here we go. All right. I'm going to start off with the axis line. It's really close to uh, this is where the eyes are. So the eyes are like in the center of the page. This is the eye. And this is the line. Uh, there's, a slight, there's a slight angle. Yeah, there's a slight angle. Let's go up a little bit. Let's go up a little bit. There's a slight angle up. Oops. Tommy T and Sherman. Oh, take a look. Those will be done in 10 minutes or so. All right, here we go. There's the center of the eyes. Here's the axis line. And the axis line is perpendicular. So that means there's a slight, yeah, there's a slight angle to it too. There's a slight angle to it too. Right. Oh, there's going to be a kite festival next weekend at, uh, in Ascot Hills. Free kites. They'll be giving away free kites. 10 o'clock, plus you'll get to see some of my work. So ask God Hill, A-S-C-O-T. I won't be in town, but um, yeah, there's gonna be, a, I might even be invited to it because it's gonna be the unveiling of, um, of some of my work. All right, so there's our axis line. And it's, again, it's slightly angle, slight angle, slight angle. If you get the angle, great. If not, you can just do it pretty straight. Not a big deal. Now this is where it, we, this is where uh, it all gets separated, right? So we're going to draw a square in here. It's a little bit longer, uh, a little bit longer, but um, it's it's uh, almost a square. Now this is going to dictate how big everything else is, because this bottom of the square is going to be um, where the nose is, right? We're going to try to keep everything in pr in proportion. So if you got this nose, and you can see here, and I'm going a little too wide, a little too wide, so it's going to be a little bit less. It is a little bit wider than a square, but um, there's our square in here. I'm going to draw that square. So I'm making those adjustments right in there, right in there. That square, I do see that square. And the square is the same no matter how small or how big you draw it. It has the same height, same width. That's the ratio. Ratio and the angle is slightly twisted, slight angle. But if you got vertical, horizontal, straighten it out, and that's fine. All right, there we go. There's our square. The nose is uh, in that shape, right in there. The nose is in that shape, right in here. And it comes down right in there, just like that. Notice that. Oh, this is the general shape, general area of that nose, right? It does get a little more specific. I showed you the difference. But this is what you want to see first get the general shapes in. And then we have the glasses. And this is where the center of the eyes. This line here is also the center of the eye. Um, the eyes are going to be going in here. I can actually just say, OK, there's one eye. And here's the other eye on this side. And then I might have to bring that in a little bit. There we go. There's the eyes That's right in there. And if you continue this down, that center of the eyes, center of the eye that's where the mouth is going to be all right so now let's take a look uh, i didn't measure but the, the center let me see here let me just uh, try to be careful use a piece of paper because if i touch it with my my screen is sensitive all right it's a little bigger all right, so from the measurement from here to here, we're going to use that same measurement and, and go a little bit a little bit further away. So let's let's see. That's what's there. I'm going to go from here. Watch this. 
we'll go from here to there. And it's just a little bit more. It's probably it's about that much more, just slightly bigger. But we're gonna bring that down. And that's where the chin is down here. That chin is gonna be right about there. There we go. That's that space. There we go. That's it. The mouth is gonna be um, from here to here. It's actually up a little bit, not in the middle. So if you find the middle, that's the middle. It's right above the middle, right above the middle, that center of that mouth, right above the middle, and it goes out that wide, right? That's those center eyes. I'm just placing everything where it kind of goes. And then I can see uh, how everything kind of goes. Now I'm going to look at the eyes. These are kind of the glasses that I talk about. So there's like a little bit of a triangle right in here, passes that center, right in there, maybe a little bit higher. Then this here, and I'm not worried about the detail. I, I'm just trying to see the big shapes. Try not to get lost in the detail. There's a lot of detail, all the wrinkles, everything. All that's just detail. You're going to get lost in it. You want to try to see the big shapes. Try to see these big shapes. And there's my glasses. Oh, there's my glasses. And this other glass over here. How big that is over there. I didn't, I didn't break that down, but uh, it's, uh, the head's going to go way out there. Right there, right there. Uh, my other glasses, which I didn't, I didn't draw this bottom line, but uh, it's it's there, there, there. Let's get these angles here now. This angle of the side of the face coming down here, and I I am uh, seeing this mouth, and I'm kind of seeing. Okay, well, I'll get this angle in, that angle, and then this angle. That's the gen. These are, this is the general direction, the general shape of that face, and then this angle here down to the, this chin. I don't know if it's in there. Let me see if you can see it. All right, let me see. Oh, yeah. I'm too close. I am getting a mirrored image. Is it as far back as it goes? There we go. That's better. All right, I can see it coming in. I can imagine that the face in there already. All right, let's do this. Anything in the chat? Nope. All right. <laughs> it's like step one, step two, and uh, all right. So that's step one. Actually, this is step one. This is step one, seeing the big shapes and the blocking and, and everything. And now step two is seeing the middle size shapes, the middle size shapes. Kind of like here, there's a, there's a, I can see this oval shape right in here. See this oval shape for the chin right in there. There's still some of that lip space. Right there, there's that oval shape in space of the chin. And then there's this cheek that kind of curves right in here. See, now you can start getting these curves. This is the middle size shapes. It curves. And notice how easy that curve is to put in now. This curve right in here, this curve. You've got the shape. Now you're just adding that curve in there. Don't let the curves confuse you. See, look at that. It's kind of like, uh, they're not jowls. Are they called jowls? I'm not sure. The cheeks <laughs> that, are, that are right there. Then this this uh, this mass. I mean, I can I can already feel I can feel the 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 form of these uh, and all the wrinkles in there. The form uh, curves out right here. These cheeks kind of curve out and curve out. And I'm already kind of getting the detail. I'm already going to the next step, but um, and that's because of experience. But yeah, these middle size shapes. I'm still trying to see these middle size shapes. Middle size shapes. The lips, probably need to bring them up a little bit more. I know that actually, let's take a look at those lips right in there. That's the shape of the lips. And I'm kind of blocking them in really light, blocking them in really light. I might have to bring them up a little bit, but they're right about in here. I'm just sketching them in. And then I can sketch this in and bring this in. This is the, the bridge of the nose now, kind of coming in like that. And then out and out. The eyes, ooh, definitely the eyes. Eyes, get the eyes, the shapes are in there. There's the eyelid, the thickness of the eyelid. Always got to check. Sometimes uh, everybody's eyelids are different, but uh, you can see the thickness of these eyelids right in there, right about there. I can see that, how it fits in there and how this fits in there. I mean, it fits inside those glasses. I can see it fitting in there like that, right in there, right in there. All right. I think this looks good. It's all kind of pretty well blocked in. All the, the wrinkles, let's see, there's a main wrinkle. Let's see, yeah, this main wrinkle right in the middle, right in there. That kind of like goes in and out. 
and all this detail of hair and, and stuff. <laughs> Are you nine sixteen? All right. Yeah, yeah, all this hair. All right, so I'm gonna start my, my eyes. I'm gonna do the eyes, and those eyes. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna go get rid of this picture now. Go to the other one. There we go. This one. That. That's it. Um, the eyes are in the center. Again, you do have to have um, some experience with drawing faces because this is. Uh, I'm skipping through a lot of stuff, like especially how to draw eyes. <clears throat> this eye. This is the um, and it's on that center. This uh, really close to it. <clears throat> this is the a circle shape, and the circle shape is being cut off, especially at the top, and a little bit at the bottom, right in there. Seeing how it fits in there, and then you've got the the pupil with a little bit of a highlight on the right. And again, this if you this is an intermediate to advanced drawing. If you're, you don't have that practice, this is good practice. Uh, are you sticking through? And don't get discouraged. This is not easy. This is not easy. It's, it's a lot of people can get easily discouraged. This thickness of this line here, yeah, don't don't let that happen to you because you're taking on a challenge. Taking on a challenge. It's, it's the winner lose, winner learn, right? It's not lose, it's learning. The thickness of this line, notice this thickness in here. A lot of beginners don't get that thickness. See, I'm getting that thickness of that shadow in there then maybe a little more uh, shading. And I'm doing this really quickly. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. I mean, uh, we, we can spend all period. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. Uh, we can spend all of, uh, this whole time, this whole day, just doing this one picture because there's so much to it. I mean, I, and I see all this detail. I mean, you can spend my time and I really see all this detail, all these wrinkles and how it fits in here and, and, and stuff like that. This wrinkle above this eyelid right in there it's another wrinkle and i'm going in there really fast and this is just experience but i am going a little fast uh, see because uh we're out of time we are out of time out of time out of time seeing the the, the shading this this eyebrow up here it all but how it all fits in here how it all fits and then all the shadows and then bring all that in notice that eye not too shabby not too shabby. Eyes are tough. All the parts, how the parts all fit, and then all the wrinkles on top of that. More wrinkle up here. And I, I can we can go for more accuracy and get it a lot more accurate, but it would just take longer. And uh, half of you would be asleep. <laughs> half of you would be asleep, and the other half would be like, "What's going on?" <laughs> like, hey, it's going too fast. He knows too much. The nose bridge, the bridge of the nose, right in there. It comes down here. All oh, this is dark. I try to see this dark shape right in there. And now I'm just scribbling. I'm just kind of scribbling. I can go darker if I needed to. And then the little wrinkles right in there. That the bridge it comes in like a triangle, like a triangle. And then it goes out. But um, yeah, all this shading, this um, this circle shape of the nose right there, that nostril. A little bit of I see that shape or form, and then when you shade it, yeah, this, it's really complex. This is really complex. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, see, I'm outlining it there now, and a lot of it's getting lost. Oh, some more nostril. I'm gonna push that nostril in there. See, I got that shape, and then the nostrils on the inside of that, and then down and around and up for that other nostril and then that other nostril around how it fits in there see how it fits and then all this detail in here goes in and out and around that nostril yeah, around that nostril a little bit a little bit of a on this other side of that nose yeah there's a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. see if i can i don't know if i got the other video up that i had on this We'll see. I'll try to get everything up by Saturday. Yeah, we'll see. All these wrinkles, wrinkles, and shading. Yeah, this has shading. We're not even talking about all the shading that's going on in here. All the shading, and um, that's a whole other, whole other thing. I can just really quickly just get some sketching in there. Oh man, like I mean, I can like really quickly just put shade and and the feel of those um, wrinkles without copying each and every wrinkle value wise i'm not getting all the values i'm, I'm 
I mean, it goes really dark in here. Right in there, it goes really dark. Then this wrinkle here. Yeah, there's a main wrinkle. That's a main one. That wrinkle. And there's all these little micro wrinkles. <laughs> there's a secondary and tertiary wrinkles. <laughs> and like our our uh, our tree, wisdom the tree, wisdom tree. All these little wrinkles. See, I'm just looking at them, getting, getting them in there. All right, let's we're going to wrap this up. So we got to get this other eye in. So get this other eye in, and then I'll be happy. Get that. See, I see the circle, the bottom, and how it's cut off. Because there's a circle, and you have to imagine it kind of getting cut off by these eyelids, the bottom eyelid right in there and then the top eyelid cuts off a little bit more and this is in darkness <clears throat> there's a lot of darkness and thickness in here there's a lot of thick shadow lid <clears throat> as it comes down uh, the, there's a light sources on the right you can see a highlight on, on the right side there's that other eye how it fits in there and I didn't uh, just I just got the feel of the spacing I didn't really and then all this is in shading all this is in shadow right in there notice all this shadow space right in there and then I can go even darker you know with some of those shapes in there a little bit get that iris in there that shaded the colored part of the eye and then, uh, yeah, a lot of wrinkles, a lot of sh shading values, which I'm not, I'm just kind of going really quick. This whole shape right here, like this whole glass that I kind of shaded, uh, it's shaped, all that's kind of like shaded in there. A little bit of texture, some wrinkles, a little bit of wrinkles kind of going over. Wrinkles, I'm just throwing them in there. Those lips, the top lip is a little bit darker. There's patterns of light and dark. There's that top lip, and then it gets light, and then it goes dark again underneath. Yeah, I'm not gonna. There we go. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the feel of it, and it goes dark again. The bottom of that lip. Some of the the in betweens kind of get lost in here a little bit, but it is darker. There's a lot of little wrinkles in here stuff. So I'm just scribbling. I'm doing scribbles. I got a little bit of a reflected light there. I can tone it down a little bit. But it's still got that core shadow right underneath the nose. See that under core shadow, and then underneath is a reflected light. A little bit of light bouncing onto that. All right, I think that's, uh, we're getting really close to the end here. Uh, I think we went over again. Oh, 924. I'm going to call it a night here. This is good. Oh, man. Had some challenges, like always. That's good. But these are extra challenges. We had some technical challenges, which is not fun to watch, especially I'm not here to watch technical challenges. I'm here to watch drawing challenges. Yeah, yeah, you get a little bit of both sometimes. But it's the, that's the thing. Be patient. Be persistent. Get through it. We'll get through it. And then you learn like, oh, OK, boom. All right. Now I know. Or uh, it makes you stronger for next time. It's like, oh, OK, I know what happened. I learned something. Yeah. And then or or. <laughs> Or proper preparation prevents poor performance. Yeah, it, it was actually that was part of the problem. I, I'll take uh, proper. It wasn't properly prepared. Yeah, proper preparation. <laughs> it's okay, but that's that's all good. It's part of the journey. Part of the journey. I thought I had it though. That's right. I thought I had it, but um, you know, sometimes you get a you're doing something new. It just didn't. You, know, you got to get those things out of the way. I think this looks pretty good. It looks, uh, it's not exactly, but it's uh, it's good. Let me see. I'm just going to scribble. And I can scribble some of these uh, values and stuff in. There's all kinds of stuff. Wow, look at this. All this whole area in here is just, I can just put a value on it like that. I can just really quickly get some values in here and then put some textures on here. There's some, like hair and there's other stuff in here that I'm just really quickly just uh, capturing um, the feel of it, the feel, but I'm really just, see this, all this is dark, all this is dark, and I just put all that dark value in there, and there's a little bit of value on this side, but not as dark, so I can really quickly just uh, put a little bit of value in here, a little bit of shade, and, and squint my eyes, and see a little more, you know, see where the light's coming, the light's coming from the, definitely coming from the right, 
you know, this detail, yeah, there we go. That's not too bad. All right, I think we're gonna call it a night. Thank you for joining us. Oh, it should go darker. I'm looking at my screen now. All right, there it is. I think that's it. Any questions, comments? Anybody want to share their drawings? You want to share? You can share uh, while well, I kind of um, do some more detail on here. Anybody would like to share? We can spotlight you. I can actually uh, stop recording. I'm going to stop recording. I might work on this a little bit more. But uh, we'll call it a uh, stop recording. There we go.